Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video, Christmas edition. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is making a kind of like template. For that, I'm going to be using my Wilton baking caps, but I'm just going to mark around that so I can know how big my snowflakes will be. Basically, you're going to have to arrange for three lines going across. So once you have done that, you're just going to draw the small pieces that the edges have. So once I have done that, I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is going to be working with a piece of white or parchment paper and I'm just using the smoothest part on top and I'm going to be adding some tape so when I work over this it doesn't move then I'm going to be using my realizing recipe I do have the recipe for this one it's on my channel and I'm going to be working with my tipless piping bags I use these things all the time I'm obsessed with them pretty much but I'm going to just go over what I drew and just make the line a bit thicker just because the thinner you make the line realizing when you peel it up from your wax paper the easier it is for it to break so I'm just going to make my lines thicker so they don't break as easily so once I have done that I'm just going to be taking my scrap tool I made that DIY on this one you're gonna check it out it's super easy to make but I'm just going to arrange the whole thing until it's smooth and doesn't have those picks just to make it look even once this is done and before this dries i'm just going to be taking some silver sprinkles big ones and i'm just going to arrange them one in the center a few towards the edges this pretty much depends on you and your personal taste but i just wanted to go for it then i'm going to be taking some disco dust in rainbow and before this dries i'm just going to go and sprinkle some of that on top of my uh, snowflake just to make it shiny and i think this adds a lot of you know fun to the whole snowflake and it makes it you know a bit more um cute and everything i'm using is edible and then i'm just going to add a few tiny i don't know this and i'm just going to make a few of this ones um snowflakes but without the ends if that makes any sense and i'm just going to add the same thing we're going to go with my scrap tool and then on top with my rainbow disco dust and I'm pretty much going to let the whole thing dry and set. So once it's set, I'm going to just peel it off from my wax paper. And it's pretty important for you to remember that working over the smoothest part is going to be a lot easier. And your pieces, your work is not going to break as easily. So yeah, just remove that, peel it off and you're good to go. So once that's done, I'm going to be taking my cupcakes and my uh, buttercream. And I'm just going to fill it with some blue using gel food coloring but i'm just going to be using a wilton 1m and i'm just going to go and pipe a kind of like swirl and just then i'm just going to add my snowflake on top of that and a few of those tiny bits that i did here and there then i went for another one but i decided to just go ahead and make it simple and flat on top so i just went with my spatula and i just arranged it to be like this and at the end i did the same thing that i did on the other one just added my snowflake and the other pieces on top but yeah those are the ideas that i wanted to share it's one idea really but with two bases on the frosting so i hope you like it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share they're pretty simple to make but they are effective i think for this upcoming or any other christmas time i just really hope you like it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye guys